Hey y'all, my name's Jake and this is my shop and this is also my episode of The Builder. I'm in it just to rewrite history Cause I'm in the mood to Label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school This ain't for the radio, can't find this on YouTube This the type of killing that these critics say used to Victorious When I was a kid, how I started getting into all of this was uh, I uh, my first trip ever to Oklahoma City, because I'm from Oklahoma originally. Um, I saw a bag truck and it, it just kind of like changed everything for me. My dad was always into hot rods and he, he always had Camaros and he, had, he was a big C10 guy and I think I definitely got that bug from him for sure. Um, and then it just grew. Uh, some, some local guys at a shop, I kind of started hanging around with those guys and then it just kind of regressed and then um, I just I decided that no one was going to teach me and I kind of had to teach myself and then it just kind of got out of control. Uh, so as a kid growing up, um, my first car was a 68 Camaro, it's a pretty cool car for a high school kid. Uh, I actually bought that off my dad. Um, and uh, unfortunately the life of that car was short lived just due to circumstance. But uh, I also, I, through random thing events, I ended up going to California and I picked up a little short bed 72 C10 and then it kind of was a game changer for me. And uh, I just kept going with it. Um, <clears throat> and it's rolled into having, I've had a, an abundance of vehicles, but I, I really always stuck to the C10s. Um, I've uh, always had them kind of like the 67 through 72 generations, kind of my thing. Uh, right now we currently have 68 uh, step side, um, and then we have a 67 that's tore apart, parts of it are here, parts of it are everywhere. Um, it's a right hand drive, Cummins powered. Uh, that's kind of like the thing in the works. And then I also am building a truck for my dad, which is a 36 Ford uh, truck, which is here in the garage also. So I, I stay pretty busy. So on the 67 right-hand drive truck, um, I decided that I wanted to build a Cummins powered truck and I know everyone's doing the 12 valve and I decided that I was gonna go with the 24 valve so I'd have the computer control. Um, it's a, a project that just kind of has grown out of hand um, to the extent of everything is, is changing. Uh, I decided that it needed to have a chassis built um, by hand. Uh, the motor currently we have uh, about, with the, between all the parts it should be roughly about 800 horsepower, um, which is pretty cool. The right hand drive, I just did it. I've all, every time I looked inside the truck, the dashes are so similar, I decided that I, I needed to do this to get it out of my head kind of thing and then um, as far as the sheet metal stuff it just that's kind of where I thrive so I decided that uh, I'm gonna sheet metal you know make everything um, that's that's kind of what I do um, so I figured this would kind of be my showpiece and uh, I'm gonna take my time on and do it right um, so my dad he had a 36 Ford truck it's been sitting in his house kind of in an ongoing project they always want and uh, unfortunately he uh, became injured where he is no longer able to work on vehicles anymore so I kind of chip foosed him went down there and stole the thing and uh, we uh, we actually got a chassis that was from a local builder here that it needs a lot of work so I hacked the front of it off and redid the front suspension um, we're gonna be redoing the back part also there's a lot of good things still on it a lot of bad things so it'll be body dropped uh, just a small probably 5.3 LS motor Nothing too crazy, just something that he can get in and comfortably drive. Um, time frame on it, uh, we're hoping that maybe by next year it'll be a, something that we can run around to shows. I don't know if it'll be fully painted at that point, but at least it'll be roadworthy. So it's uh, something that I know means a lot to him.
It means a lot to me just to be able to do it. So I, I decided that I was at a point where I wanted to do something for myself and I, I felt comfortable well enough to start up the Atomic Armadillo Metal Fab, uh, or for the people that can't spell Armadillo, A2 Metal Fab. Um, and uh, I, I decided to kind of start to step away from doing repairs and custom modifications and start getting more into the manufacturing side. Um, currently, we do a lot of uh, C10 generation, so 60 through 87. We do custom panels. We do, uh, you know, a lot of bead rolled pieces. Um, we have a lot of stuff in the works. We have stuff for prior generations. Uh, trying to stick strictly to the truck area for the most part, um, but we do have stuff in the works for like the F100s because we're seeing a, like a growing popularity. Uh, for me, this is just kind of in my dream. My, my dream has never been just to build one thing. It's just been kind of wanted to have something of my own and and something that i hope that at some point in my life i'm able to employ uh my friends and and family and people that i, I find you know that have talent and, and can thrive because for me this is my art and this is this is something that's very important to me and it's uh it's taken a long time to get to where it is now um but it's uh Definitely, definitely something that I, I don't think I'll ever stop. I just can't. It's just this is my this is my life. <clears throat> I always tell people that I run solely on luck because I've had um, very great opportunities as far as being able to be employed by people that are very talented. You know, anybody that wants to do this stuff, you know, if there's a will, there's a way, and that's the kind of way I've always looked at it. And if I couldn't do something, I've always tried to figure out how to do that or how to put myself in the situation to be able to do something like that. Thanks for tuning in to my episode of The Builder. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Atomic Armadillo Metal Fab. And for any inquiries about custom C10 parts, hit me up. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? Fuller here with Junior. We are the guys behind the camera for the Custom Offsets TV series, The Builder. So you guys have reached the finale for season one. Now, all summer long, we're going to be shooting and bringing you guys bigger builds and bigger stories. So make sure you subscribe to Custom Offsets TV on YouTube and hit the gray notification bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd also like to be featured on The Builder, email tv at customoffsets.com and we'll see what we can do for you. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We're out of here. Peace.